Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel, and welcome to Invictus Lunch Week, day one. And guess what? The floodgate is open and the furies are out. But we are not gonna give it a first look, because I am pretty sure that you've already looked at it, even before me. So what we're gonna do in this video is to create a new type of ship, which is called the Nomad's Fury. Yes, we are going to infuse the Nomad with the Fury to unleash the Nomad's Fury. So let's get to it, shall we? Well, first thing first, because the Furies are size 1 ships, so let's test it. If we can call those ships at those uh, mining pads. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Okay, let's find our... F oh, there we go. We can call those Furies at uh, the vehicle pads. Let me call this one. So the claim time is 2 minutes and 12 seconds. And the server is lagging really bad. So it might take me a while to reclaim the ship over here. There we go. Your I think claim has been sent. the expedited fee is around 1500 AUEC and then the expedited time is around 20 seconds. Thank you. Look at this. This is actually my first look, okay? This is not your first look because I'm sure you try to look at it, but uh, I have never looked at this ship. So give me like two minutes. Um, also, I want to see. There we go. Interpilot seat, open pilot canopy. I don't think we have a storage area. Oh, you know what? Let me unlock the ship first. Let's do a quick uh, components attaching and detaching guide. Huh. Uh, I don't think we can detach or attach any weapons or missiles from the new Fury. I have not tested Fury X yet, so access over here. So this is a well component over here. And you have a shield generator and cooler. Where can I oh there over here. We can access it here. Oh there we go. Uh you can attach and detach the shield generator and the cooler. I believe there is uh two more over here. And this is the shield generator and the cooler. So the Oh, what is that? Maybe it's only one shield generator, but two coolers. So the cooler can be removed. Huh. It's highlighted, but uh, somehow we are not able to pull it out for this one. I think they might still need to fix something for the ship, since it's just out. We've not tested the ship in the PT or anything. So we'll wait and see. Uh, definitely, you can uh, pull out. Let's pull out the shield generator. There we go. Shield generator is out. And then I put it in. So that confirms it. Uh, the ship ports are unlocked. Shield generator and cooler can be pulled out. Power plant cannot be removed. So are those guns and missiles. This is not good. This is, uh, I mean, I really wish we could remove those guns and missiles. Let's, ho let's hope that CIG will fix this. Uh, this is my first look. And there is no... Uh, internal external storage area for the ship you don't see I think the Merlin even have like 60k micro ICU of storage area but uh, I don't see any all right let's get inside let's test fly this thing all right oh lift it up really quick all right landing gear uh, oh this I don't think this thing has a landing gear I think it has the gravity so it's not physical landing gear so all right retract Expand. Oh, this is cool. This is awesome. Look at that. I want to see the animation again. Retract. Expand again. Wow. Wow, it's highly maneuverable. Highly maneuverable. Okay, so the four size two guns are not gimbaled. Let's see if we can create the Nomad's Fury. That's the purpose of this video. Let's uh, back in all the way to the end. Just touch a, lo a little bit like this. All right, guys, I think this is a perfect fit. Close cargo bay, let's see. Oh, 
I th this is a little bit sticking out, right? Let me see. So it should be good because the majority of the ship, like 80% of the ship, uh, maybe 60%. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is this. Um, open cargo bay, close cargo bay, and enter pilot seat. There we go. Okay. Let's see if we have... Yeah, we have room in the back. We need to move the... You know what? Uh, I think what we can do is just leave the... Uh, just close the cargo bay. Just fit the ship. Because this is a ship. It's not a ground vehicle. Yeah, I'm loading the Nomad as I'm loading a ground vehicle. So we don't have to do that. So you just leave the cargo bay... Ooh, because the, the ceiling is a little bit problem. Just leave the cargo bay open. I mean, leave the cargo bay closed. And just... Uh, Fly the the fury inside. There we go, and then cut the engine. Nice. That's ninety percent, almost one hundred percent inside. All right, this is not a fury anymore, and this is not a nomad anymore. This is nomad's fury. This is an infusion. Okay, so what do you guys want to do? All right, let's do a bounty hunting mission. Since this is a fighter, let's do a v group VHRT. Let's do it. Let's challenge ourselves. Let's see how we best utilize this Nomad's Fury. Okay, arriving at first location. So what we're going to do is I am going to land the ship about uh, 20 kilometers away. I also need to see the bearing, which is uh, 55. Land it. And then... Do not open your cargo bay while you are still in flight, so the ship might slip out. The animation is pretty cool. Engines on, be careful of the ceiling. Oh! Yeah, the ceiling is uh, a problem. Okay, there we go. Our TIE fighter, I mean, our Fury is out. <laughs> Expand configuration. Let's go. Let's go hunt. Wow, look at the hydrogen fuel. I just loaded the ship and I'm used about like a, a tenth of the hydrogen fuel. Oh, we have a reclaimer. Yeah, I, I can't deal with the reclaimer. So let's just uh, shoot the target and go. Oh no, the target. Got something. Oh, I got hit by a, by a missile. Uh, my heart is red. And the target is a reclaimer. Wow. All right. Uh, this could be a problem. Okay. So let's uh, let's destroy that Valkyrie first. Hydrogen fuel at 75%. Wow. This, uh, I don't think this uh, fighter can do um, VHRT. Because right now my hydrogen fuel is 75%. Ooh, you have to do uh, very good power management for this ship. Wow, this is a little bit hard to control. Hydrogen fuel at 50%. Wow, hydrogen fuel at 50% already? Wow, it's spinning sometimes. Uh, sometimes dip, the ship dip to the ground. Ooh, another dip. Maybe in atmosphere is a little bit better. I mean, maybe in space might be a little bit better. But uh, its maneuverability is great. Yeah, except missiles, uh, 
those bullets you will miss most of the time. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Valkyrie destroyed. Okay. Uh, I don't think we can uh, take on the two reclaimers over here. And our fuel is almost go bingo fuel. 25%. Yeah, black on fuel. Where is our ship? Okay, um, I know the bearing when we come here is 55. Another problem is if you uh, use this Nomad's Fury, you need to know where you land your Nomad. So bearing is 55 earlier. Okay, so I am going to go back this way. I think uh, Nomad is somewhere over there. So it's always good to uh, turn back and see the bearing towards your ship. There we go. That's our Nomad. Yeah, this is how you find it. There we go. Done. All right. So uh, flying back to repair the Fury. And uh, what have I learned? I got too excited and I, I overestimated the power of the fury. I mean, it's powerful. The weapon, the missile is powerful, but the hydrogen fuel is so, so low, so little. I only destroyed a Valkyrie and that's, that's about it. But also because I'm fighting in M sphere. So uh, that's not, also another problem. Maybe in space it'll be better. And also in M sphere, the ship is highly maneuverable. It's great. It's really, really great at dodging bullets, especially from those slower ships. Because it's too maneuverable, sometimes, uh, I guess you need to practice a lot to uh, get used to it. It's uh, spin around sometimes, and also it dips. I think it might just be in, M uh, in M sphere, So it dips toward the ground during a fight. But uh, it's maneuverability, it's weaponry, it's missile for the Fury. It's amazing. And the size of this thing, the convenience for the Nomad's Fury. It's amazing. Yeah, it's not that expensive for the hydrogen fuel, but uh, it's very small amount of hydrogen fuel. So let's do an HRT. At least we get like 11K AUUC for that. All right, arriving target location. Same thing, I'm gonna land around 20 kilometers away. Close cargo, but I'm gonna do this way. So it's easier for me to load it back. All right. At this point, uh, because right now you are aligned with the Nomad, right? You can see your bearing is uh, about something, 182.5. So remember, you need to find your ship back after that. Okay. Nice. Let's go. Let's check the light for the Fury. Okay. It's pretty good when it gets close to the ground. All right. So this is an HRT. Shouldn't be any big ships or anything so let's go and that's our what an Aegis reclaimer for an HRT what what is wrong with Star Citizen you know what let's fight those light fighters then oh oh boy all right, so I am back with another Nomad's Fury. And now it's already daytime, so it's a little bit easier. Yeah, the Fury is so maneuverable. So be very careful when you are fighting close to the ground, especially when it's pitch dark. All right. Oh, eh. But this is a very awesome, uh, nice looking TIE fighter. Look. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with Sir Citizen. Keep giving us uh, reclaimers for our bounty. Even HRT has reclaimers. But reclaimer is not that difficult to kill, honestly. It's just the main guy shooting at you like that. It's easy to, especially this ship is so maneuverable, it's easy to avoid those. Oh, target destroyed. Nice. Target destroyed. 
Target destroyed. All right. So this reclaimer is our target. We have to kill it uh, before we can accomplish the mission. So <laughs> have at it. It's uh, best if we fight under the belly of the reclaimer. He can't even hit you. He can't even shoot you at you. I'm gonna give full power to weapon. Yeah, if you're shooting under its belly, it can't even shoot at you. So, we can just relax and shoot here. But we need to bring its shields down first. Oh! I think it's a uh, back shield is down. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Another kiss to the ground. Escape death. Yeah, I need my boost. I charge my boost. Without boost, I'm dead if I'm really close to the ground. Oh, 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 getting hit. Sh uh, engage under the belly. Can't shoot at you. Oh, it's Holly is red in the back. Okay, maybe we can destroy it. Oh! Wow, it destroyed? Okay, hydrogen fuel of 50%. Wow, this is nice. And we can salvage the ship. For real. Uh, the weaponry on this uh, Fury is great. So, four size two gimbaled weapons on the Scorpius. Basically, you're having the weaponry of a gimbaled Scorpius. But you have the maneuverability of an arrow of a gladius, even better than the gladius, I think. I haven't read the status yet, but uh, uh, I think it's highly maneuverable. Yeah, the roll and everything, it's just be very careful. <laughs> it's easily crashed it. All right, we made 13k AUEC, nice. Oh, there it's uh, our nomad. Uh, so I think this is it for this video guys. I am going to go ahead and do the other Fury, the Fury X, MX, but I call it Fury X. I think it's easier and simple and uh, it's beautiful. The purpose of this video is to see how this Fury will fit the Nomad and it fits very, very well. And we also did a little bit extra, some combat test, powerful weaponry, great maneuverability no external storage you can't use this to do bunkers of course you don't even have a quantum drive so very low hydrogen fuel uh, use it wisely i would say so you can mitigate its shortcomings but utilize its powerful weapon and the look is definitely cool look at the engine turning and the maneuverability it's awesome it's small but it's furious all right guys I will see you in the next one. Enjoy your fury and bye now.